that's me and the topic I am presenting may look or sound easy but I want you to know that words can mean different things at different times so it is definitely important to clarify and establish the concept behind the terms why I tell you this because I want you that at the end of this you will learn to explain educational management by definition by meaning and by its aims aside from that illustrate the introductory concept of educational management through video presentation this kind of learning mode and the written report I uploaded on our MS Teams and gain enough information that could help us generate new knowledge through reasons. So let me continue by allowing me to ask this question. Why study educational management? Well, based on many ebooks that you can read on zlibrary.asia, books on openlibrary.com, and many references, they talk much about it. They provide a voluminous amount of research and study about it. So for that alone, it must be studied. Now, I want you to have a bird's eye view on the purpose of educational management. That is to effectively and efficiently create and maintain environments with educational institutions that promote, support, and sustain effective teaching and learning. That leads me to the next slide. I want you to generate meaning out of this word cloud. I'm giving you 30 seconds, just 30 seconds to do this activity. You may write your generated meaning on some sheets of paper. Ready? Your time starts now. Okay, time is up. You can check your work a little later as we continue. Educational management is composed of two words, education and management. Let me give the definition of each of these words. Education, as defined on teachthought.com, is a teaching and learning system. On the other hand, management as defined on ebook by Kashap is the process of getting things done effectively and efficiently with the people or through the people. By the way, I want to tell the difference between the definition and meaning. Definition is a set or a standard explanation of a term or a word. It's like um, it contains technical jargon which may or may not be understood by everyone. Well, the word meaning, we explain in a simpler manner or we say things in layman's term. Let's continue. Out of the definitions of the two words, education and management, we can say that while education is the delivery of a series of learning experiences to students in order to impart knowledge, values, and skills with the aim of making them productive members of community, it is only through management that people know what should be done and how it should be done. Did you get it? Okay. Put 
everything together. As defined on book titled The Principles and Practices of Educational Management, edited by Tony Bush and Les Bell. Educational management is the process of planning, organizing, directing, controlling, and evaluating activities of an institution by utilizing resources in order to effectively and efficiently accomplish institution's objectives. Going back to the activity I ask you to perform at the beginning of this presentation, did you generate some meaning? Did you get it right? If yes, that's awesome. If not, you're learning. Now, I highlighted some words here that I want to explain further, like process, effectively, and efficiently. When we talk about process, we know that there's certain number of different steps or procedures of getting things done. Since it's a process, we know that each step builds or supports on the others. And probably there's always a little confusion between effectiveness and efficiency. Allow me to explain further. In effectiveness, we do the right things. This means that we help the organization reach its purpose. Example, I teach mathematics. As a hired mathematics teacher, I should teach math. And I teach math, so I do the job and I serve the purpose of the organization. And that is to teach. In efficiency, we do things right. This is associated with how things are to be done, or getting things done quickly, or with little resources like people, money, time, and other relevant elements. Example, so if I am effect effective in teaching mathematics because I teach math, efficiency comes in when I teach mathematics on certain topics probably in a week in a month, quarterly, or a year. So efficiency tells how much you do to get the purpose. Another example is there's a task that needs to complete in a week. I completed the task in five days and you completed the task in seven days. We can say that we are both effective because we did the task. We completed the task. We achieved the goal. But I can say that I am efficient because I just completed the task faster or lesser time and probably lesser resources. Now, it will become I am more efficient if you completed the task less than or less than a week or seven days. Another good example is the online class we have now. The College of Teacher Education is effective in continuing its serve and that is to teach and they become efficient especially now in this pandemic. They are doing the teaching with less resources like um, printing papers, distributing handouts we're in we do that now by just sending through specified online platforms like this ms teams uh, gmail messenger things like that so effectiveness is completing or achieving the purpose while efficiency is doing things in optimal or best way Going back to the educational management, the process that involves within the educational institution have five number of steps. Some of us, or commonly, we only see the last three, but we need to know that in every management, we need to see that there is an equal amount that we do not see. Uh, it's like they are all in the system or framework or structure, things like that. 
by the way, this process is standard across industries or uh, across field, any field such as business industries, construction, production, financial and professional services, education, things like that. Okay. Planning. Here, objectives are set and actions are identified. Example, there is this school search contest of best school LRMDS implementer. I am the program focal person. The first step of management is I'll spend time browsing the mechanics, no, the criteria. Then I'll think of necessary steps uh, to prepare that I and team, no, or school teachers involved in the contest, so that we get no the best school LRMDS implementer. Next, organizing. Here, work is this. Tributed. So, using the scenario a moment ago, um, I will determine the school LRMDS resources. So, this include uh, human and material resources. I will organize the team according to the plan. So, I need to identify different roles of each of the member of the team. And I should make sure that I assign the work to the right member to carry out the plan. Next is directing or this can be called leading because this step needs influencing or connecting with the team on an interpersonal level that will allow the team to willingly strive you know, to win the contest. No, as the example scenario a while ago. So this step requires me to communicate with them, not to motivate them and inspire them to towards the higher level of productivity. Remember that not all managers are leaders. No? A member of the team will follow the direction of a manager for how the job work because they have to. But a member can voluntarily follow the direction of a leader because they believe in who they are as a person and for the manner in which they are inspired by the leader. So once the plan has been carried out, controlling and evaluating come in. How? So controlling and evaluating could be partnered or they monitor the performance and they evaluate you know, the result against the goal. So with a given uh, example, if I notice that the team was behind or poor in producing necessary outputs for the search contest halfway through the contest date, um, I need to put in place new ideas, um, probably necessary changes in procedures so that I could ensure that the rest of the time is more productive than the first half. So because in this process, uh, controlling, it sets performances, no? And um, continuously, uh, evaluate the performance so this might require um, a group meeting or individual talk not to review the performance so to sum it up educational management is really a process you know, where each step builds on each other and for the last part of my presentation the educational management aims. These are achieve an institution's objectives, improve the different processes within the institution, create, enhance, and maintain a positive public image of the institution, optimize no, the resources, material or human, administrators, teachers, maintenance, things like that.
enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of infrastructure uh, enable job satisfaction because if there is no relationship between the teachers to be specific uh, and the administration group there will be no motivation to work that's for sure create and maintain a congenial and cohesive atmosphere so that the next aim could be avoided. These are conflicts and stress. Another aim is improve interpersonal communication and build a relationship with the community. In all, these specific educational management aims make an undesirable ends to happen because it will help the institution to be directed and give sense of purpose to each of the member of the institution and that brings me to your involvement here's your activity make a good cycle or flow chart showing the process of educational management I have a sample cycle that you can use as a guide in making yours. So you may pause the video for more time of looking the sample, but I'll be transitioning to my last slide. All right, um, I've got some more questions for you and these are how do you see the educational management of your school? Is it okay? If not, or if you were in charge, what would you do to make it better? So start your answer with the latter question by, if I were in charge, management in our school would be better because, and I would appreciate hearing from you. Let's talk them over later. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you got something useful and whatever it is, uh, you are now better than a moment ago.